Uh, I'm Dan Jones here with my friend and colleague, Dr. Mark Keenum, President of Mississippi State. I'm Chancellor at the University of Mississippi. And we're here for an announcement that uh, makes me as excited as I've been in a very long time. Uh, we have, uh, in this state, been dealing with the challenges in our K-12 education system for a long time. And there's certainly common agreement on a lot of things as we, as we struggle with the best pathway on some issues. Everyone knows that good teachers makes a difference. Uh, and we know that in this country and in this state uh, that uh, the prestige of the teaching profession is not what it once was and not what it needs to be. And so uh, those of us in higher education have a responsibility and a role in K-12 education, and certainly a big part of that role is, is uh, preparation for teachers. So we're here today with a very exciting announcement. Uh, we'll tell you who these other folks are in a moment, uh, but Mark, uh, glad to be with you. It's great to be collaborating. Thank you very much, Chancellor. And this is a great day for Mississippi. It's a great day for education in Mississippi. This is a culmination of hard work that has gone into effect over the last, I would say, two years by the leadership of our respective campuses to come together to help try to tackle important issues that are important to our state. And we've identified that education is vitally important for Mississippi. And to bring the two great universities to the lar two largest universities in the state, University of Mississippi, Mississippi State University together, to help, again, address a critical need in Mississippi is something that we're all excited about. Uh, you know, our two schools uh, are pretty big rivals. <laughs> You know, when it comes particularly to athletics, uh, competition on the field or the court, uh, the chancellor obviously wants his team to win every game in the same way at Mississippi State. Uh, but when it comes to moving Mississippi forward to making a difference in the lives of our citizens, we recognize that one of the ways that we can do that is by collaboration and working together to, again, address critical issues. Uh, we're here to, today to announce uh, a new program that we will offer on our respective campuses. Uh, it's Mississippi Excellence in Teaching. And it's an a, 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 a opportunity for students, the best and the brightest students that are produced in our state and beyond to go into the field of education, to become teachers, to become the best teachers that we can possibly produce. Uh, we're very fortunate that we have the support from an outstanding uh, foundation, the Heron Foundation, who's helped making the resources available to us to provide scholarships for students to attract, again, the best and the brightest students. Students that would be uh, uh, honors college caliber students, to be members of our Shackles Honors College, to be members of the Barksdale's Honors College at the University of Mississippi, but to attract these young people <coughs> into the field of education. And we're talking about the best scholarship that can absolutely be offered. Full ride, tuition, room and board, uh, their books, their, all of the technical equipment that they'll need. Study abroad uh, will be provided for our students. Uh, we want these students, again, to come and understand that they can have a rewarding, meaningful career in teaching and education. All too often, we see some of our best and brightest students, students who would be readily welcome into our Honors College, choose other professions because they're being urged by maybe counselors or their family or other people to think about other fields of study that might be more financially rewarding. We want to change that dynamic. We want to create an environment on our respective campuses, again, that attract the best students possible to come into our respective schools of education. We're very fortunate to have here with us uh, Dean David Rock of the University of Mississippi, uh, Dean Richard Blackburn, our two respective deans have worked tirelessly with our faculties in developing this program. And oh, by the way, the students that are selected to be part of this wonderful program, uh, in addition to all the, the opportunities for study abroad, both studying, going to the best performing schools in our nation and some of the best performing schools in other countries to learn about the best teaching practices that are in place today to bring that knowledge, this unique learning environment that we're providing, and take that knowledge out to, again, serve 
and teach here in Mississippi. We're going to require students who get this outstanding scholarship to make a five-year commitment to teach here in Mississippi. We think this is going to make a big difference for, again, for developing outstanding top flight caliber teachers to serve and make a difference in classrooms throughout our entire state. So we're excited to be here again today and again to, to thank our, our Commissioner of, of Higher Education, Dr. Hank Bounds, for his leadership in encouraging all of our institutions of higher learning to be creative and innovative and looking for new strategies to help make a difference in education in our state. And when you think about education, you look at what's going on right here today in the Capitol. Uh, there's our legislative leaders uh, are taking initiative to improve education, to reform education. Our governor has outlined a strategy for improving education in our state. Our leadership in this state understands that one of the ways to move Mississippi forward is through improving our educational system. This joint collaboration between Mississippi State and the University of Mississippi is going to help make a difference in that regard. And I have to end it on one quick uh, quote from one of my heroes that I have and my personal heroes is former Governor William Winter. And he was a champion of education here in our state. And we're enjoying the benefits of his leadership in education. But he once said that we must understand that the only road out of poverty and economic dependency runs by the schoolhouse. And that's what, again, Chancellor Jones and I rec recognize, and also our commissioner. So again, we're very glad to be here, and I'm going to let uh, the chancellor maybe talk a little more about the details of this outstanding scholarship and the program that we're joining hands arm in arm to work together to move Mississippi forward. Chancellor so Jones. so uh, thank you, President Keenum. Uh, you, you know, this is a project that will move us forward, that will change the perception of teachers in this state, we believe. But this by itself won't solve all the problems. We'll need lots of other people to get engaged in this. But we believe this is an important step, the step of us working together, our two great universities, and saying through these full scholarships that teaching is important. And where we have some wonderful students in our schools of education now, we want to attract more of the best and brightest from our state to come into the profession of teaching. We are very grateful to the Heron Foundation for the decision that their board made a few days ago to provide $12.9 million over a five-year period of time to support this program in our two universities. I can't tell you, Matt, how grateful we are to you and your foundation for the confidence that you have uh, to entrust us with these resources. Uh, we, we will be good stewards of them. We will do good things, and we will encourage others, other universities, to join us as we take this program, what we believe will be a pilot program for having better teachers in Mississippi, we'll ask our state leadership to join us. We'll ask other universities to join us. We'll ask other foundations to join us. So we are grateful for the encouragement and support from the Heron Foundation and from our own governing board, the IHL board, for us to collaborate and for us to work on this important uh, uh, topic together. So let me just ask the commissioner and then uh, Mr. Heron to come and uh, say a few words and then after they're through, uh, if you have questions, any of the six of us up here will be happy to, uh, to take questions. Commissioner? Uh, certainly, it's a great day for Mississippi. Uh, it's a particularly great day for Mississippi's children. And when you look at what's happening in the highest performing countries in the world, they are doing exactly what these two presidents are proposing to do, and that is to go after the very smartest, the brightest, the most dedicated young people and place them in classrooms. Look at Singapore, look, look at the highest performing countries, and this is absolutely one of their top strategies. And so I'm, I'm really excited. It's a baby step uh, in some ways, but it's an enormous step in other ways. And so to the Heron Foundation, thank you very much. I, uh, th this would be easy for President Keenum and Chancellor Jones to just look over and not focus on and deal with other issues that uh, are important to them and to their university. And I am so proud that they recognize how important this move is for the future of our state. So uh, congratulations to two great American universities. Uh, I think it sets the, the, the standard for what every university in the state and this country ought to be doing. 
and it certainly says a lot about this wonderful foundation that we have here in Mississippi that recognizes the importance of making certain that children get the very best and brightest teachers. Chancellor. Thank you, Hank. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Happy to do that. Um, actually, the uh, Heron Foundation probably has the easier job here. Uh, and uh, we are delighted as a foundation to provide the requested funding for this exciting program. At the end of the day, you've got two great institutions. You've got the leadership, great leadership at both institutions in Dr. Jones and Dr. Keenum. You also have some great deans that uh, I can tell you bring a lot of enthusiasm to the whole idea and to the whole program. So we're delighted to play the part that we're playing. Uh, Foundation-wise, we are interested in our objectives in the long-term economic betterment of the state of Mississippi. We feel like this is one of those key components. Blueprint demonstrated that, the MEC's program blueprint demonstrated education is going to be a critical component in the economic betterment of the state. So we're delighted to do our part. Um, we will be monitoring this over the next five years with great enthusiasm and excitement and, and hope it just grows from here because, as Dan points out, uh, it is a starting point, and we've got we've got a ways to go, but this is a great place to get started. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. All right, so uh, let let me uh, close this part by uh, saying, Mark, uh, thank you for the opportunity Absolutely. to collaborate. This is uh, this is good for our state, great. and we're really really happy to be doing this together.